Coming this summer, who framed Roger Rabbit on the Disney Channel? See one of the most hair-raising experiences a man and a rabbit ever had. Where's the rabbit? I seen a rabbit. You wouldn't have any idea where the rabbit might be? And if you subscribe to the Disney Channel today, you'll receive a free Roger Rabbit watch. This is a limited time offer. Got a thing for rabbits, huh? So call 1-800-782-5005 to subscribe to the Disney Channel and get your free watch coupon. Hi, I'm Monty Hall. Remember all the fun we had playing Let's Make a Deal on TV? Now you can play right over your touch-tone phone. Call 1-900-8604-DEAL. Choose the right door and you can win great prizes. Maybe even a trip for two to the beautiful Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. But be careful. Choose the wrong door and... So call now. 1-900-8604-DEAL. It's fun, it's exciting, and you can win with every call. And you don't even have to dress up like a chicken. Two dollars for the first minute, one dollar each additional minute. The deceased was a devoted husband. The widow was grief-stricken. The doctor was very sympathetic. It was an almost perfect crime, except he wasn't quite dead. Steady. I'm home. Tim Matheson, Jennifer Jason Lee, William Atherton, buried alive. A USA World premiere movie, Wednesday at 9. Ready for some tongue and cheek humor? Get it at the original Porky's on USA, Thursday at 9, 8 Central. Can we have the lights on, please? I said, can we please have the lights on? Excuse me, is there someone up there? Can I have the lights turned on, please? Hello, I would like the light. Thank you. I think they're working. You can turn them off. <clears throat> Is this on? Testing. One, two, three. We can hear you, Mr. Pitt. Testing. What? Can you hear me? Testing. One, two, three. Testing. It's nice to know you can count all the way to three, but that's enough. I was only checking that I could be heard at the back of the room. You can be heard. They can hear you across the street. I'm not so sure anybody wants to hear you, but you can be heard. I hope the rehearsal won't take long. The flight was horrible, the food was cold, and I'm dying for a nice hot bath. <laughs> Traveling first class isn't what it used to be, eh? <laughs> as soon as your friends arrive, we'll start rehearsal. Why don't you go backstage and grab a drink? Right. Emma. Oh, terrific day here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a year, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Emma, hi. Oh, Christine, it's lovely to see you. Listen, if you keep winning these awards, they're going to have to call it the Emma Dixon Award. Right. I owe it all to clean living, regular exercise, and never eating anything that has eyes. <laughs> I just got lucky. Lucky? Three years in a row? That's kind of suspicious, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, but who's counting? This is my publisher, Jonathan Foster, hey, nice Christina Town, and Michael David. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Of course. You had that detective show on television. I loved it. Oh, you liked it? Yeah. All right, then. I knew I liked this man. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we got here? What are we rehearsing here, huh? The theft of the year? Oh, God, it's bad. You stole my script. You stole my plot. You stole my characters. You stole two years of my life. Calm down, Dowd. Fuck off. We've been through this before. Huh? I sent you my manuscript. I trusted you. And now you've got an award that I should have. Huh? Just play off a minute, will you, pal? Hey! Calm down. I'm even with you. Don't you know there's never been anything written since Finnegan's Wake? Huh? I'm gonna off you, you hack. You're dead, you hack. I'm gonna off you. Oh, yes, sure. I'll be fine. So, what's happening? What's going on? I just can't deal with people like that. 
Every time I write a new book, some crazy comes out of the woodwork screaming that I've stolen his plot. Sorry about that, Emma. I'll beef up the security. Oh, don't worry about it, Jonathan. Funny how only the best sellers get stolen. Never the failures. <laughs> sure. Thank you both for agreeing to be presenters at the ceremony this evening. Oh, sure. Wouldn't have missed this for the world, Emma. You know that. No. Thanks, Mike, for running interference with that lunatic. Not at all what I would have expected from a... an actor. Who's going to say actor? I know he was going to say actor. They're real detectives now. And very successful, as a matter of fact. Tell that to our creditors. It's only... What the hell is St. John doing here? He obviously felt the need to show off his new toy. Faster. Didn't take long. Long for what? What's going on? Should I say something to him? Hey, how's it going? Fine. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. It's good to see you. It's you. Yeah. Huh? I had to see something. Ridiculous. We had a fight. And this is obviously his way of getting back at me. Oh, you two know the games people play when they're considering divorce? No, I wouldn't. Uh, run a few by me and see if I recognize anything. You seem to be handling it very well, Emma. Things aren't always as they seem. Isn't that the truth? Personally, I'll be glad when you're through with that leech once and for all. Anyway, we're going to have a fabulous time at the awards dinner. Oh, I've made okay. up my mind. Okay. And I've even got a few surprises lined up for you. In addition yeah? to what's already happened? But first... We're going to catch up on what's happened to you, two. All right. Oh, don't Excuse me. Excuse me. Rehearsal in ten minutes. Oh, Mr. Finn, there are a few other arrangements. I think we need to talk. Well, well it's half an hour, yeah. Give me an hour. <laughs> you used to do this for a living. Yeah. <laughs> to mystery. A mystery. It's made us all a good living. Well, you anyway. <laughs> Mm, this is good. What is it? I don't know. Chateau Chihuahua. Comes in a six-pack. <laughs> oh, this is appropriate. Elderberry. Nice. Elderberry. Yeah. Okay, what was the movie where they used elderberry wine, Arsenic poisoning? Arsenic and... 1944. Frank Capra, Paramount. Released 44. Made in 42. Okay. Warner Brothers. But the most important element, who wrote it? Okay, all right. All right, I got this. It's the, uh... Oh, it's the two brothers that, uh, Epstein. Julius and Philip Epstein. Very good. I see you two have studied up on your mystery trivia. Well, she had to. Remember the last time we totally humiliated her? What? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You didn't even know who starred in Bambi. This from a man who thinks Debbie does Dallas is socially significant. <laughs> anyway. Remember that one word clue? What was it? Penicillin. Right. The third man. Orson Welles was terrific in that, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. it's a great actor. Brilliant director. Citizen Kane is my all-time favorite movie. It's great. Yeah. Even if my two favorite actors didn't oh, star in it. Oh, oh right. You don't have to be so charming. Listen, we are very happy to be a part of this. Thank you for asking. Are you kidding? I insisted that my friends be part of the fun. All of the fun. Christina, Mike, can I steal you on stage for a few minutes? You always come along when I'm having fun. It's just a quick run through to time their speeches. And don't forget, you're upstairs for a press conference in one hour. Oh, I forgot all about that. Jonathan, do I have to? Just finish your drink and relax while you wait. All right, we're right there. I guess it's just part of the price you have to pay for success. That's right. When you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. What do you mean by that? And they're still talking movie about my last novel. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think we'd make a great movie. Yeah. Maybe you should give Joyce a call. She might give you some ideas on casting. Mm -hmm. Tina, Mike, I'm sorry to rush you. Of course, you have to beef her part up a little bit, I'm sure. But... Sure, everybody's a writer. <laughs> okay, Sarah, Sarah. Uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Doris Day sang that one. The title of the movie, The Man Who Knew Too Much. I'm impressed. She knows everything about Doris Day. This is a Doris Day freak. I also like Mary Tyler Moore. Tina? <laughs> yeah? Start waiting for us. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Mike, I'd like you to meet Mr. Penn. Hi, Mr. Penn. To speak directly into the microphone. Which one's the mic? At a level volume. Okay. Mr. Penn, they're professionals. They've done this sort of thing a hundred times, I'm sure. Anytime you're ready. Okay, these are... Thanks. Mr. Words? Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here this evening at the annual Sherlock Mystery Awards. I, I know I still don't feel like the speech is really like sound. Would it happen to this now? I mean, I thought we were going to have a rewrite on this. It's just not happening. So? Oh, no problem. Okay, I'll, I'll just improvise something. That'll be good. Did he okay. say he's going to improvise? Yes, now please don't concern yourself. I'm going to get Miss Dixon no, right I, now. I wouldn't bother Miss Dixon right now. Mike, I think that we need to stick to the script in this situation. Oh, okay, come on, Christine. We're talking about let's have some fun with this. Son, this is not for fun. This is for Emma. But it, it's it's our faces up here. Come on. I mean, it's an opportunity. We'll improvise. We'll have some fun. We'll just do it like we used okay, to do it. That's not what this is about. Listen, the script, the script writers obviously worked very hard on this. I think this is what they want us to say. I can't believe you're standing here just like deja vu or something. You're such a you whip out every time. This will be good. We just do it the way we have a certain kind of chemistry. We just ad lib some stuff. We just do it like we did in the series. Okay? Maybe that's why we got canceled. and portable are Wagner's new cordless power painting systems. Just watch. The new cordless power roller automatically pumps paint to cover quickly and easily with no runs or drips. The new cordless power brush is perfect for trimming any job, big or small. There's no better way to finish a job with flying colors. Anywhere. Cordless power painting from Wagner. Not just a whole lot faster, a whole lot better. They could be marching into your home right now, entering through a crack in the foundation, chewing into your floors and subfloors, into your walls, termites. There's one sure way to stop them. Call Terminix. Terminix technicians have treated over 5 million homes using EPA-registered materials and methods proven to stop termites. We guarantee it. No ifs, ands, or bugs. Terminix. Call now for free termite inspection. Want an adjustable bed, but don't think you can afford one? Then you haven't priced Craftmatic adjustable beds lately. Craftmatic Model 2 beds cost hundreds less than these quality flat beds. And this Craftmatic Model 3 is available at 50% of Craftmatic 2's low cost. 50%. Craftmatic Model 3 and 2 beds adjust to all these healthful positions and offer optional heat and massage, yet cost less than these quality flat beds. Get our free catalog by mail, including information on Craftmatic 3s at savings of 50% of Craftmatic 2s low cost. Hello, I'd like to receive your free catalog and 50% information by mail. Certainly, sir. It's easy, so call for this free catalog right away. Call 1-800-BED-9098. That's 1-800-BED-9098. Toll free. Call 1-800-BED-9098. Visa, MasterCard. No, I don't accept checks. I can't help you. In today's world, you must have a credit card. To check into a hotel, rent a car, to buy when you are low on cash, to make a major purchase. If you have problems getting a credit card because of poor credit history, bankruptcy, divorce, no credit history, solve your credit problems with a secured Visa or MasterCard. Now you have the opportunity to put Visa MasterCard right in your pocket by making this $6 call. Over back to the world of good credit. You need the respect that a credit card can give you. Call the 900 number on your screen to get the world's most widely used credit card. Visa MasterCard are available to you. Don't be left out. Call the number on your screen now and find out how you can be on your way to secure your own Visa MasterCard. Call now. For a second, let me get a couple of questions up first. Sergeant, I don't understand. Why would anybody take Emma? Well, we haven't officially established that she has been taken, sir. Lou, look at this mess. What would you say it is? Lou, I just spoke to the doorman. He said that he saw a woman getting hustled into a cab downstairs, didn't get a good look at the guy, but that she was resisting. Well, why didn't he do anything? You're asking me? All right, Phil, why don't you talk to the doorman, get a statement, find out if he remembers what kind of a cab the guy got into, OK? So what are you going to do? I'm going to see if we can locate Dowd. Well, what about Robert St. John? 
They had an argument last night. Emma called it a fight. All right, the guy's also on my list. Were there any other people that had a disagreement with Emma Dixon at all? This is the worst thing I've ever been involved in. Oh, not involved. I mean, I wasn't involved. He tries to pick just it up. I can't believe that Emma would do this to us. I can't believe she'd do it. I can't believe she, she would stage her own kidnapping. Why? That ain't publicity. They got the whole town on her case. Yeah, well, I'm on your case. What for? Okay, then well, I'm on his case. What did I do? You're in on this. That's what you did. Okay, what's this? Note again. You've got everything. You need to track me down. Watson the dog, who you brought, is the bonus. Success will be rewarded. Insane. You're in on this, aren't you? Look, I'm not in on it, okay? Yes, you are. You brought the dog. No, 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 look. It's like I told you guys that the, the, the messenger dropped off the puppy in the purse and, and said, these are for the diamonds. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I gotta work on my Peter Lorre. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 don't even think about it, Watson. Oh, don't worry. He, he gave him my place. Your place? Who we'll notice? Funny. Not that bad. <laughs> want some coffee? Funny. Hi, Lou. Oh, hi, hi, Lou. So what the hell is going on? You want some coffee? No, I don't want any coffee. I've been up all night looking for your pal here, you know? I've answered the phone all morning. 16,000 calls from every member of the press all over town wondering where your pal is. Now you're telling me it's just a joke, right? No, no, it's not exactly a joke. Well, what is it then? It's more like a game. Oh, it was a joke, now it's a game. Is it coming out like in the board version or something we can all play in on? What is the story, Michael? What's going down here? Well, she left this note. Watson. Who's Watson? The dog. Oh, the dog. Dr. Watson. Get it? You have a break here, guys. You know, we got involved in a movie one time, and there was one practical joke and then another back and forth. That's kind of the basis of our relationship, right? The point is, it's a stupid publicity stunt, and people out there are freaking out all over it, okay? Okay, well, I didn't think it up. Look, have you guys seen the front page? Front page? Yeah, the front page. My name's all over that paragraph. Well, you know writers. They're eccentric. Come on, Christina. I know writers. I hang out with them. They're not all this stupid and irresponsible. This woman is. Well, at least she's safe. Hey, look. Bottom line is, you guys want to find her? Then find her and find her fast. We have your permission? Hey, Michael, you've got my blessing. And you tell her when you do find her that she's got one hell of a bill coming to her for the city from all the trouble she's given us, okay? Daryl, there's a balance between water and bleach, okay? It's not an ancient Egyptian mystery. Take a week, figure it out. He likes me. He didn't say goodbye to the dog. He didn't say goodbye to me either. I love it when he's like that. Well, he's got a point. <laughs> he's really got a point. So we'll find her. Big deal. <sighs> You gonna help us out here? Me? Or what? Of course he is. Uh, what? No, no thanks. I'm, uh, I'm going, I got a job to do. No, 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 you owe me on this. No, no, special, I gotta do a special effects for, uh, for, uh, uh Lucas. For, oh, uh, Irving Lucas, Saul Lucas, 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 Lucas which Lucas? You guys are very laughs. No, really, I gotta go. Uh, Tiffany Lucas. Big time. Lucas. What Lucas? <laughs> All right, so we find her without him. Big deal. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to be pretty clever. She is. Well, we've got you. You and her kind of think alike. Wait That's a, a minute. big advantage. This dog looks hungry to me. Yeah. Here you go. What are you doing? What are you feeding him? Watson. Here you go. Here you go. You hungry? What are you giving him? You giving him frosty creams? Yeah, frosty creams. There's no fudgy bars. He doesn't even like it. He's not even a junk food junkie. Okay. Put it in there for him. Well, maybe he'll need it later. Okay, we've got a uh, city map here. Too convenient. Too obvious. I know it's too convenient. Oh, oh root marks here. Look, that's our office. Oh, yeah. Colony Street. Which is a dead end. And why? Okay, so what we find out here is that all the clues won't necessarily mean anything. Great. Okay, we'll just stick to the book, okay? Help and this book, she's Jump. got it marked here at page five. 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 Yeah. What's this? Cocktail napkin. All right. High Circle. five. High five, oh, five, no. Five, uh, um, hang five. Mm. Um, five's a crowd. No, five's an orgy. What? 
You always said ten or more was an orgy. We should get your facts straight. Look at this. Five pages on. Telephone right. number. I don't know. This is too easy. This is the anxiety hotline. All our lines are busy right now. Please hang in there. A counselor will soon be available to discuss your problem with you. Emma, Emma, Emma. All right. We gotta find a location, something. Okay, let's see. We got a parking ticket. Boy, oh, he showed up. Uh, illegally parked at 14th and Gale. 14th and Gale? It's a totally deserted area. Okay, we start down. Well, we don't need this. Be sure and get the dog, though, if she thinks that's important. Okay. So here we are. What are we looking for? I don't know. You don't know. This is your kind of thing. This is your it's game. Not my game. It's your game. Emma's game. Okay, okay. We're on a street corner. We got a street corner. Corner. So you got a bar. You got a newsstand. What else you got in the corner? Uh, the traffic corner. signs. I don't know. Little Jack Corner. That's it. Little Jack Corner. It's Little Jack Corner. That's what I said. Little Jack Corner. <laughs> Jack Horner. Oh, okay. So he changed his name. What's the difference? Don't be so technical. How'd it go now? Uh, little Jack Horner's in the corner. Yeah. Reads curds and way. No, 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 no. He's stuck in his thumb. He, uh, he pulled out a plum. And said, what a good boy am I. Oh, yeah? What does that tell you? Tells us we don't know what we're doing. Great. Let's just go home, leave a message on our machine, say we don't care. <sighs> oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going. Telephone bill? Telephone. Phone bill. Okay. Oh. Is that? Uh, smells pretty fishy to In me. In the phone book. Okay. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. You want to get it? I'll get it. Fish. It's oh. a fish. It's uh, a fish. What does this mean? We sleep with the fishes? Is it like the godfather or something? What? It's a red herring. All right, let's go. I sent it to line. Let's go. All right. Did you get him out of that garbage? Come on. Watson, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey, this is what Watson was going for. Watson? Hey, little doggy Watson? biscuits. My phone? There you go. There you go. Hates it. He likes paper. Okay. What took you so long, guys? Can't get a loan because you don't have credit? Can't get credit because you can't get a loan? Need extra cash for bills? Car? Child care? vacation. There is a solution. Call 1-900-884-8181 now to educate yourself. Did you know with a network of branch lenders you can apply for 1,000, 10,000, or even more, and often without collateral or a cosigner? Did you know that there are secure programs for people with little or no credit? Pick up the phone and call now. 1-900-884-8181. Lines are open 24 hours, limited time only. Phone confession. Call America's hottest phone line and leave one of your romantic experiences. Or just listen to some of the best romantic confessions you've ever heard. I'm so glad my friend gave me this number. I didn't have anyone else I could talk to. Phone confessions. If you've ever been in love or just infatuated, you'll love phone confessions. She showed up with her girlfriend and before I knew it, we'd spent the night. Calls are $2 the first minute, $1 each additional minute. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Susan? Uh-huh. Susan? Dining alone. Oh, yeah, making a little pasta salad. I love pasta salad. You do? Well, I got tomatoes. Yeah. I got onions. I got milk. Oh, no, great. No miracle whip. Really? Because Susan... Susan? A salad just isn't a salad without the tangy zip of miracle whip or miracle whip light. Ring. Come on, ring.
when the sweetest pets are little stinkers. Try Arm & Hammer's Pet Fresh Carpet Deodorizer. It freshens up deep down between vacuumings. Arm & Hammer's Pet Fresh takes the pets out of carpets. Pet Fresh. Look at me. Enjoying corn on the cob. Thanks to Super Poly Grip. Super Poly Grip forms a seal that holds so tight, many denture wearers can enjoy more of their favorite foods, even corn on the cob. Super Poly Grip. I can't tell you where I am. That would be far too easy. You've got to put your thinking hat. Try going by the book for a change. See you soon. By the way, don't forget Watson. Go by the book? Hold on a Okay. So it's that napkin. So it's this. It's a napkin. No, it's not, it's too obvious. It's not a thinking hat, it's a drinking hat. A drinking hat? No, what is a drinking hat? The top hat, cocktail napkin. Is that like a Texas expression or something? Come on, Watson. That's getting somewhere. What do you think it is, then? Let's see. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, movies. Um... The Gay Divorcee. Ah, Silk Stocking. No, no, I, I can feel a theme here. Theme. Um... It's uh, Pedro. Well, wait, 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 wait. Just hold on just a minute. Uh, where is she? Uh, the night man, uh said that this was your order. That's all I know about it. Well, well just, just a second. Nightman. Uh. How did you know it was us? Your friends aren't too bright, are they? Puppy chow. For the old puck liquor. Here you go, Watson. <laughs> right in his face. Here you go. So... Hearts and flowers. What do you think hearts and flowers? What's hearts and flowers? In a quarter. Here, got dinner buns. Buns, buns. nice buns. Where rolls. Two rolls for her next movie. Well, that's going to be great. I saw her last one, I got to tell you. I don't know. <sighs> this dog. Did you feed this dog this morning? Look at this dog. A-323. What is that? She's got Flight a lot of number? trouble, hasn't she? I mean, it could be a hotel room, though. If, if you listen to it, you can understand. You've got your foot all taped. Come on, let's go play some music. Rhinestone Cowboy? This is 1988. Rhinestone? Rhinestone collar. It's on the collar. Wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> One. Carlton Place. Congratulations, Emma. It's on the collar. Keep quiet.
Okay, so it's Miss Scarlet with the knife in the uh, library. Okay, Emma. Christina, excuse me just for a second. Just me? Yeah. Christina's so upset. Yeah, well, I'm very upset myself. I mean, I laid my reputation on the line here. I, I sort of held off the investigation because you convinced me that this whole thing was a hoax. It was a hoax. Yeah, well, that's what I told the chief, right? I mean, obviously, this is not a hoax, Michael. What? My whole reputation as a police officer is on the line here. Thank you. I can't trust you anymore. It was a hoax. It's not a hoax. If this is a hoax, it's not a very good hoax. Well, we saw the clues last right back to here. Hey, look, man, I have a feeling she wanted you to put these clues together before she died. Well, I have a feeling that the killer knew about the hoax, the killer was involved with it. He knew that she was hiding out here. Michael, let me just get out of just get out of my way, okay? I want to do this job. So it only could have been Foster, only could have been Dowd, or anybody who's involved with the hoax, okay? Hey, hey, don't don't touch that stuff. Don't untouch that stuff. Just keep quiet. Let's, this is a this police is... investigation, okay? Well, just stay out of it. Well, I think this is evidence. This is her trying to tell us who the killer was. She's holding the stuff, okay? Look, I'm aware of what's on there, okay? I understand what's going down here. Now, she was being attacked. She may have uh, tried to grab the cane to defend herself, and a okay? And a rose. Look, Michael, we're taking photographs. We know their clues. We'll figure it out. Thank you. What's going on here? Uh, Mr. Foster, oh, I don't mind. I wouldn't. Now, get whatever you want out of life. I want to be rich. You can with the remarkable power of affirmation tapes. I want to be loved. I deserve success. Now, the power to get what you want is yours. Call 1-900-520-1122. For your $10 call, you'll hear a collection of affirmation statements and the information you need to start using them immediately to get all the things you want out of life. Get rich, lose weight, find love, and more. Plus, when you call, you'll get your choice of any two of these self-growth affirmation tapes free. You've seen similar audio cassette programs advertised on TV for hundreds of dollars, but now they're yours free. These tapes have already helped people just like you. They can work for you, too, the very first time you listen to them. So call 1-900-520-1122. Remember, the power to change your life is in your hands. Use it. Pick up the phone and call now. You must be over 18. Buy any original classic model contour chair and I, Art Linkletter, will send you your choice of a fabulous 19-inch Panasonic color TV, microwave oven, or VCR. But don't buy a contour chair for one of these. Get one because it's the most restful, healthful chair you ever relaxed in. Contour chairs help to relieve low back pain, poor venous blood circulation in your legs, edema, and swelling of the legs. Call toll-free and get full details on our fabulous offer. I chose the Panasonic Color TV. I took the VCR. I got the microwave. Hello. I'd like to have your catalog and certificate mailed to me free. Certainly, sir. See how easy it is? Call for your free catalog and certificate right away. Call 1-800-858-3600. That's 1-800-858-3600, toll free. Call 1-800-858-3600. Visa, MasterCard. No, I don't accept checks. I can't help you. In today's world, you must have a credit card. To check into a hotel, rent a car, to buy when you are low on cash, to make a major purchase. If you have problems getting a credit card because of poor credit history, bankruptcy, divorce, no credit history, solve your credit problems with a secured Visa or MasterCard. Now you have the opportunity to put Visa MasterCard right in your pocket by making this $6 call. Over half a million have already called. Be a part of the masses who are making their way back to the world of good credit. You need the respect that a credit card can give you. Call the 900 number on your screen to get the world's most widely used credit card. Visa MasterCard are available to you. Don't be left out. 
Call the number on your screen now and find out how you can be on your way to secure your own Visa MasterCard. Call now. May I answer? Sorry. Trying to see this going, um... yeah. Mr. Foster, I know this is like a, a really uh, insensitive time to have to ask you some questions, but yeah. if we're going to find out what happened to her, I need to ask. Now, I understand that this whole thing is some sort of a publicity stunt, is that correct? Yeah. A publicity stunt, that's all it was supposed to be. Where were you this afternoon, sir? I spent most of the afternoon running around. Doing what? Finalizing arrangements for the awards. Uh, Such as? I was picking up statues, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize the murder weapon at all? Yes, it was mine. The dagger is pure silver. It was given to me as a gift. A long time ago. I kept it on my desk as a letter opener. When was the last well, time you saw Emma Lyle? Michael. When was the last time you saw Emma alive, sir? Here. This afternoon, just before I left. How was she? Well, she seemed fine. She said she was going to write a letter and then relax until you arrived. Did she uh, speak to Robert St. John at all before she disappeared? Well, that's who she was writing to. She was going to divorce him. The man was nothing but a gold digger, a leech. All right, Mr. Foster, thank you. Um, unfortunately, I, I have to ask you to go down to the uh, police station with one of my officers to make a formal statement, okay? I promise you it won't take long. Thanks. Oh, and Sergeant, please find the person who did this to Emma. She was a very special woman. Sergeant? Well, I'm going to place time of death between three and four hours ago. It seems she may have lived for a few minutes after she was stabbed. How do you know that? Oh, the position of the body is inconsistent with immediate death. I'll send you a full report after the autopsy. Yeah, make it fast, will you? Yeah, I'm in there for a couple of minutes. She tried to raise things, so she tells him to kill her. Right. The bones are down on the wall. to be a game. Some game. So what do we do now? So we can find this guy Dow before Luke gets to him. Yeah? Well? Well, there must be a couple of hundred bars in town. Where are we gonna start? The guy's a writer, right? Call his agent. These doctors don't make good detectives. Who says that? Who said that? Tom Stone said that. talk to you about Emma Dixon. How'd you find me? Your agent? Oh, isn't that great, eh? Bernie gets me one interview in the last five years and it's with a couple of lousy actors. Okay. What do you want, a script you can steal? There are 22 people in the world and all of them are hot dogs. Look, why don't you talk to us before the police get here? I'm talking to you. What's this about police? Emma Dixon's been murdered. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. The police out there looking for you right this moment. They have you as the, like, the prime suspect in this. Since when is this supposed to take place, huh? This afternoon. Mr. Dowd's been here since 9 this morning. He always has breakfast here. I just love writers. They're so bohemian. 
Listen, I, you know, I got a cousin on the force. He's the investigating officer. Why don't you come along with us and talk to him? You got an alibi and all that. Okay. Yeah, just let me uh, finish my lunch here. Yes, I have heard of the Screaming Blue Messiahs. They're one of my favorite bands. Well, look, madam, what I'm trying to say is that I really don't even have the time to talk about it because it's not really my department. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Well, he probably yelled at you because you called the... Yeah. I'd like to help, but I... Mm -hmm. Well, I play my music loud all the time. I don't really think there should be any problem. And if there is, I, you know, people come and knock on my door and, uh, and then I turn it down. That's all you can really do. I mean, everybody has their rights. Bottom line, that's not really my department. So, what... personally, I think rock and roll music played loud is okay. I think most people are considered. Most. No. No, ma'am, what I'm suggesting is that you knock on your neighbor's door, you tell him to turn the sound down. I mean, that's all you can... Uh, okay. Uh, okay, just call the main number, please. All right. What is this dog doing here? Guess what this is. Uh, Dowd. Oh, Mr. Dowd, hi. How are you? Sorry, Mr. Denny. Thanks for coming in, sir. I, I brought him in here. I thought you might need a statement or something. He's sir, got an Michael. alibi. What? He's got an alibi. He's got an alibi. I had an alibi, but they wouldn't let me bring her in. All right, look, uh, have you got a few minutes to make a formal statement? Sure. All right, great. Well, nice looking dog. Is that dog in Petticoat Junction, isn't it? No. Take Mr. Dodd into the other room and take a formal statement from him, please. Okay? Thanks. Hey, hey, wait, wait, Michael. Hey, what's he got in his mouth there? It's nothing. Well, get that out of his mouth. Get that out of his mouth. That's one of my files. It's an arrest report. Get that, what's he got in his mouth there? It's just an arrest report. It looks like... Give me the paper there. It's like a photocopy. Michael, get the paper out of his mouth. That's not funny. That's an arrest report. That's serious. That's... Dog. Well, there's part of it. It looks like a photocopy. Don't you have the other copy? Yeah. Didn't have the courage to tell you in person. Can't live like this anymore. The violence, the jealousy. Looks like Emma was trying to kiss St. John off. We need to make this another scene. Let's part as friends. So much for the clues. Mm, something's wrong. Emma would never be the type to put up with violence. She would have dumped him a long time ago. So he loves paper. He's Cut it, Jeanette. Uh, What's the meaning of this? Well, I guess you're clever enough to figure it out for yourself. Thanks, guys. Am I being charged with something? No, I'm not going to charge you with anything yet, but I would like to ask you a few questions about your uh, relationship with uh, Miss Dixon. Emma and I loved each other. Right. So who was that blonde, your sister? That was just part of Emma's publicity hoax. She didn't want people to know that we were together again. Well, I just read Emma's letter on the computer, and... Uh... It didn't sound that way at all. It sounded like she wanted a divorce. Well, in fact, we were going to renew our vows for a party after the award ceremony. Oh, really? Boy, she didn't crack to me at all, to you. You guys really pulled this off. I didn't... If you don't believe me, you can ask Judge Persky, who's going to perform the ceremony. Well, look, financially speaking, I think you'd probably benefit the most from Miss Dixon's death, wouldn't you? I hate to ruin your fun, Sergeant. I'm not going to see a cent of that. Why not? Emma and I signed a prenuptial agreement. What's up? Time to see the coroner said that Emma was killed. Why? That file was saved at 3 o'clock. That's some trick, writing a letter after you've been murdered. The Disney Channel celebrates the American family. Home for the holiday. I believe I've missed each and every face. Come on and play one easy. Let's turn on every love light in the place. It's time I found myself totally surrounded in your circles. Oh, my friend. The Disney Channel premiere film, Back Home, starring Haley Mills. The original family series, Avonlea. And the music special, Paul Simon, Solo. Three great reasons to subscribe to the Disney Channel, America's family network.
Hi, I'm Monty Hall. Remember all the fun we had playing Let's Make a Deal on TV? Now you can play right over your touchtone phone. Call 1-900-860-4332. Choose the right door and you can win great prizes. Maybe even a trip for two to the beautiful Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. But be careful. Choose the wrong door and... So call now, 1-900-860-4332. It's fun, it's exciting, you can win with every call, and you don't even have to dress up like a chicken. $2 for the first minute, $1 each additional minute. When you get scared, do you want your money? How about a vampire or a werewolf? I'm Robert England, and I have a whole frightful family of movie monsters for you. So scream along with hair-raising horror film highlights on Shadow Theater on USA. Friday night at 9.30, 8.30 Central. Eastwood heads west. You wouldn't have a gun around here, would you, Padre? First, Clint rides with Robert Duvall and Joe Kidd. Then he teams up with Shirley MacLaine and two mules for Sister Sarah. Time to get moving. It's a two-fisted, double-barrel, double feature starring Clint Eastwood on USA. Saturday, starting at noon, 11 Central. What's the matter, baby? I don't know. It's, it can't be Dowd. Why can't it be Dowd? Because he's got an alibi. He's got a blonde. It's hardly an alibi. Alibis die like that. It's not St. John. Why not? Because they're supposed to have been getting back together again. According to him. I never liked that guy. No, well, I believe him. Well, it can't be Foster. So don't tell me it's Foster. I mean, he's the guy who lives off of her. A publisher. I've been very successful. All due to Emma. He's going to kill her? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know what we do. I got it. I got it. We organize this thing, okay? We write things down, all right? We divide the whole thing into like three categories. Opportunity, got motive, and you got, say, lunacy. Did you learn this on Police Story? Yeah. So you take, say, say uh, Dowd, all right? Now, he's going to score very, very low in opportunity, but this much, much higher motive, and then through the roof on lunacy. Now we take St. John. We compare these things as we go. Right? This is not going to get us anywhere. We're going to find out at the end that Emma was murdered, and we don't know who did it. Go ahead. Okay. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Just that. Oh. Oh, no! He's got a pillow. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Oh, these are your favorite cushions. I'm so oh, sorry. That's but look, it. You got teeth that's on him. It. He's, got... He's got to go. What? He's out of here. Come on. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? That's it. He's got to go. Since when do you call the shots around here? The place is half mine. Well, then you can have half the dog. And you know which half. Christina, if this dog goes, I go. Okay, all right, come on, let's go. We're sleeping in the subway tonight. I can't stand this. Mike, Mike! What? Can we work on this, please? Well, I don't really know. Christina, what do you think, Watson? Yeah, he's all for it. All right. I guess we're not sleeping in the subway. You gotta figure out. Me and Watson can this. sit down here and help you for one more minute. Thank sit, you. Sit, 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 stand. Sorry. So she was obviously trying to send us a message here with these things. Yeah. Well, I tried to tell that to Lou, you know, he wouldn't listen to me. I don't know why we keep on going. Would you stop that? Sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to control that one. Okay. Right. Okay, now, the phone was pulled out of the wall, so she couldn't call us, but she knew, she knew that we were going to be there. Yeah. Now, if we just check out this caller in the first place, we could probably save her from being killed. Okay, all right. You could have thought of that. She's got a cane and a rose. Well, it's kind of like, not really a rose here. What do you mean? It's a rose. Well, it is rose. It's a bud. What do you boy, mean? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a rosebud. A rosebud. Rosebud. Is that a cane? That's right. She was talking. It's her favorite movie, her favorite director. Well, what could that mean? What, what was the guy's job in the movie? What was his middle name? Yeah. I must go tell him. I can't believe it. Here. Have a pillow. Look, it's not a mystery movie, man. I mean, uh, you know, I just don't want to figure it out like an Agatha Christie story or something. It just doesn't make sense. Lou, Lou, it's so obvious, so obvious. What, what is the last image, the last thing you see in Citizen Kane? On the slate, in a fire. Rosebud. Rosebud. Right. 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 And what was he in the movie? 
Give us a publisher. A publisher. Charles Foster Kane. She's trying what to tell us. What are you saying? What are you saying? What's the point here? She's trying to tell us that it's Foster. Oh, come on. No. Give me a break. Guys, I can't go into a courtroom with movie trivia. I need evidence. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. house, it's his knife. Her clues. All right, all right. Well, one thing. What about a motive? Yeah. I mean, the woman sells three books a year. The guy's living off her. Yeah. Why the hell is he going to knock her so off? We know, Focus that's why on we, that. That's why we have to keep looking. Focus you know what? That that's why I'm a police officer, because that's up. what I'm going to do. Oh, Good. I, I, I did a scan on Emma's computer disk with, uh, with Alex. Right. A anyways, I found an erased file on the disk, and I also found a way to retrieve it. I think you guys better take a look at this. All right, great. And listen, quit calling that guy Alex. His name is Dave. Oh, I'm not very good at ad libbing, but you know the person who should be here tonight isn't. In the last 12 years, she wrote over 20 novels. Most have become million sellers. Many have become novels. I, I mean motion pictures. Our memory of her, like her books, will always be with us. Her legacy will not be just those she called friends, but those of thousands of devoted readers that she brought much joy and mystery to. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the Sherlock Award for the best mystery novel of the year, Code of Murder by Emma Dixon. Here to accept the award for Miss Dixon, is her publisher and longtime friend, Jonathan Foster. tragedy that has befallen Miss Dixon. A very great writer. And uh, my very good friend. Emma Dixon was a great inspiration to all of us both in her work and in her... In her work. Life. In her work and life, an inspiration. an inspiration. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't go on. I 
why don't you guys keep this? What? You were her friends? Thanks. Well, I guess that's it for this show. You all right? I can only sit through 10 minutes of broadcast news. Kid, I had to stand up all the way through this. How can I let you talk to me into going to see an Albanian movie? For your information, that is the hottest young director in Albania. For your information, the only other director in Albania is probably a goat. Oh, Michael, you just don't like subtitles. That's all it is. Yeah. Colleen Kale says the movie was bold. Colleen Kale thinks that William Hurt is bold. <laughs> don't go by that. Well, watch where you step here. Oh, well, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I'll tell you. An Albanian Romeo and Juliet. You gotta hand it to him, don't you? Just one thing really confused me. Which one of those two was Juliet? Oh, Michael. The one with the hat. And the little mustache. Oh, yeah? Well, that makes sense. Well, what's the difference? The whole thing is symbolic anyway. Symbolic? This is symbolic, okay? Okay, fine. So Michael says the movie is, um... Kaka. Kaka. Right. And Christina thinks that the movie is bold and interesting. So we got, so we got one, of these. one of these. All right. Okay. Okay. We got that settled. We understand okay. each other. Yeah. So we got to get the dog ready, right? He's so. drinking his water. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Let's clean Let his mess up. Let him drink his water. Come on. He's going to... He's leaving anyway. What a good boy. Look, look at Christina. Look how he's... He hit the paper. <laughs> how could he miss the paper? There's nothing but paper on this floor. Come on, let's Christina. clean up. What? You can't keep the dog. I can't do this. You can't I keep can't the dog. Him. I love him. Christina, listen. Look, look how cute he is. He likes me. I'll, 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 I'll look after him. You're cute. You can't even look after yourself. Well, I'll bathe him. I'll take him for walks. I'll feed him. I'll play with him. You can't even take care of yourself. How many days have you been wearing this shirt? Hmm. It's going to be fine. He's going to a good home. He's going to a home. I don't know how good it's going to be. Hey guys, Watson not ready to go? Oh, yeah, Daryl, he's fine. Yeah, he's got his Darryl. dog bones all Darryl, back. Darryl, just for me, okay? One more time, just reassure me. You know how to look after animals, right? You've had experience with pets? Sure, I had an ant farm all through grade school. See? He's gonna be fine. An ant farm? No, An ant farm? Fault. That doesn't qualify to look after? Get out of here, Daryl. <laughs> hey, here you're hurting him. He's not hurting him. Keep watching USA, America's favorite cable network. A child in need is a problem indeed for a father in hiding. On Diamonds, tomorrow at 11. And tonight at 8, Cabot Cove blazes with arson and intrigue on Murder, She Wrote. Now, you'll never get away, so why not face the music next on USA?